What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodelsworld.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial Today we're gonna create mountains using Maya and Arnold displacement map So let's get started So the first thing we need to do is create the base for the mountain So let's go create Polygon and Plane Let's press R and scale it So this way we can get the scale that we need We don't need to worry too much about the scale right now Because we can adjust it later Okay, next thing we need to do is we're gonna create the material for the displacement map. So let's go Windows, Rendering Editor, and Hypershade. So first thing, let's create a new Arnold material. The yeah, ice standard surface. Cool. So now let's create the 3D textures. So we go to the side here, click on 3D textures, and let's click on Creator. So this way we get this crater node. Okay, let's organize the file here quickly. And let's click on the crater. So displacements usually takes uh, white, black, and gray. So let's go select here white. Let's pick gray. And black. So let's uh, connect the out color to the base color. Let's press 6. The next thing to do is select the 3D texture and let's scale it up. Let's scale it down a little bit. Let's select the crater and in the color balance, let's make sure we click uh, Alpha's luminance. This is so the displacement can be read correctly in Arnold. Next thing we need to do is uh, go to the mountain terrain that we created. Let's close the hyper shade. Let's make sure we are in the shape node under Arnold. Let's scroll down to the subdivisions and change it from none to cut Clark. And the iterations, let's change it to four. This is the details of the displacement. And the displacement attribute, we can leave everything the same. Now, next thing we need to do, we need to go to the hyper shade again. And the important thing is we need to actually create a displacement map. So this is the shading group for the plane. Next thing, you can uh, select the, the creator, middle mouse and grab the displacement so now it added displacement node here so everything here is good we don't need to touch anything so let's make sure we have a light so let's create light and directional light press 7 let's scale it and then rotate it so we can see the direction of it okay great so let's minimize the hyper shade and let's select the camera resolution and let's hit render okay so now the displacement is really strong so let's save this image for comparison later and let's close the window and then select the terrain and then make sure the displacement attribute change the height from 1 to 0 0.2 so basically we're turning it down Let's actually change it to 0 0.1 and let's render again. Okay, so now we can see the mountain showing up here in Arnold. Uh, one thing uh, for to get rid of this uh, white dots and reflections, let's change that in the material. Let's select the terrain again. Let's go to the surface shader and under the specular, let's take it all the way down to zero. The color also to zero. This way now we can render and we can see the result here looks uh, uh, looking pretty good. So now let's do some changes on the creator uh, shader again. Okay, you can click on the color. So we are in the creator now and then let's start doing some tweaks. So this is good that we have it uh, connected to the color node so we can always see what the changes 
uh, how much affecting your displacement slow it down 1.5 it's just that's under okay so now we're getting a much better shape okay next thing to do is uh, let's go to the hyper shade let's add the shader back okay so this is what we have now next thing let's uh, disconnect uh, the out color this is not textured anymore but still the displacement is connected you want to verify just select the plane click on the output connections you can see it's connected displacement in there okay next thing is let's create another 3d texture and let's choose creator let's do some basic texturing here to give it uh, a nicer look so click on creator 2 and then let's choose white for the top part and let's do just some tweaks here like to be similar to the one we created for the displacement uh, for this one we can do more like green or green and the bottom let's make it more like dark brown let me zoom in here and then we can use that as out color connect with the base and then important thing is let's uh, select the 3d texture and let's scale it to match the same scale of the displacement okay so now they match it so let's click on save let me delete all these let's save again and then let's render okay, so now we have top of the mountains is white then goes to dark green and then goes to uh, dark brown uh, first thing let's create a camera let's click on panels perspective and go look through the camera let's select resolution okay so let's see this is the camera we like Okay, so next thing we need, so let's scale this uh, and make it big so we can have uh, more distance, the covers. Let's change the airplane to one and add a couple of zeros. Let's scale. Let's look through our camera. Okay, so let's select the camera, change the near clip plane to one and far clip plane to a couple of zeros then we can move our camera around okay let's let's be getting too close so let's change the camera let's raise it up let's click render okay so let's increase the quality of the displacement because now it looks pretty low we select the mountain and then we go to the subdivision iteration and we change that to six and also let's change the bounce padding to one we can change the angle Okay, so let's change the texture. So now it looks uh, better with the new textures. And then we can adjust the camera again to get it a better view. Okay, so this is what we have now. Of course, we can tweak more and we can add more details uh, to the terrain or we can uh, use a different uh, 3D node. For example, if we go to the hyper shade, the textures, there's a variety of fonts, there's cloud that could be used. 
uh, for uh, doing this kind of effect by changing the settings on it you can adjust how these cloud uh, looks and then you can generate uh, mountains this way as well hopefully this helps you guys let me know if you have any questions and subscribe for more future videos until next time take care thank you